the city of McAllen is proud to boast an equal number of women and men in positions of leadership, influence, and decision and policy making within the organization, including directors, assistant city manager, or city commissioners. Why shouldn't women play a significant role in our community? For a public entity like ours, I think that for us to get to the level where we have 18 female department heads, I think it speaks volumes about, about the positivity within uh, the people who hire. For example, your city manager and your assistant city managers. They are out sincerely looking for the best talent that is available. They want what is best for the city of McAllen and they're going to hire the very, very best person for that job. And whether it's male or female is irrelevant. There is no bias. It is out, we are out to look for what is absolutely the very best for the city of McAllen. And the opportunities will continue. It's, you know, any man's game, whatever, or any woman's game, actually. Whatever the city needs, we will find. And if it happens to be that it's a female that can put forth that effort and that commitment and fulfill that job, then that's what it's going to be. Additionally, the City of McAllen is an organization where women flourish, serving as an integral part of the innovation and responsiveness that helps bring new vision and perspective to the growth and direction of the community. My name is Christina Milano. I work here at the City of McAllen Water Lab. I've been here for six years and I'm the working water supervisor. I'm the first female that's been here in over uh, 15 years. I came into this industry knowing that it was a male-dominated uh, field and I um, have no problems with that. I'm good where I'm at. I love the city of McAllen. I like the environment. I love my coworkers, and um, I was like, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it. For the women at the city of McAllen, there is no limit to their growth, potential, or field that they can conquer. My name is Arcelia Canales. I work with uh, Health and Code Compliance Department, and I've been with the city of McAllen for 11 years. We enforce uh, health and, and codes, uh, of course, um, anything from weedy lots to accumulation to illegal dumping, um, some planning and zoning codes. It's a broad um, spectrum of, of violations that we address. I'm proud. I'm proud to see that. It makes me feel good as a woman. Um, I think that we're capable of a lot of things and, and um, us being a, a woman shouldn't you know, label us as, as not being able to accomplish things that men do. So you're out there and you're as good a code enforcement officer as any guy? Yes, ma'am, or better. <laughs> the city of McAllen has always been a progressive and innovative city. And today, we celebrate more than just the women of our organization. We celebrate their accomplishments and potential to continue to make our city the leader of the Rio Grande Valley. <laughs>